Hi, this is Ken Blystone, and I extend to you an invitation to visit my classroom in the Internet Cloud, blystoneclass.org. When you visit blystoneclass.org and select the Tools option at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to view and use our collection of learning tools. We have a large variety of instructional tools that are freely available to students, teachers, and parents to help kids learn all types of math and science concepts. This is our time and distance tool, our parabola, graphing tool, our sonar scope tool. We have dozens of tools ready for you to use right now, and we are adding more educational apps to our collection all the time. Again, these tools are freely available, and when you visit our site, you will not have to register, you will not be asked for your email address, you don't have to log in or give any information or read any agreements or be forced to watch any pop-up ads. When we say it's free, we mean it. For this presentation, we are going to focus in on our new dual geoboard geometry tool. This interface uses two geoboards on either side of the screen, separated by our calculator for kids. At the bottom of the screen, we have a slide program which starts on slide zero. The zero slide gives basic instructions on the use of the slide program. And then there are numbered slides, usually between five to 15 slides, needed to teach a lesson or provide examples or show illustrations to make the concept at hand clear and understandable. Let's move on to slide one as an example. I remember a few years ago when I was teaching a class of 7th and 8th graders about the properties of right triangles and the Pythagorean theorem. I had been teaching for about 15 minutes and I came to the end of my lecture and I asked my students if they had any questions. One student raised her hand and she asked, are we going to also be learning about left triangles? From that day on, I always taught the concept by showing two right triangles facing each other, explaining that no matter which way the triangles may be facing, they are still right triangles because the property they share is having one 90 degree angle. The student who was waiting to learn about left triangles was trying to make sense of what her teacher was explaining to her. She was trying to construct understanding in her own mind based on what she had learned before and was trying to incorporate that with the new information I was presenting. This classroom experience is one of the reasons why tools like Super GeoBoard and Dual GeoBoard are so important. They allow students to try things out, to build things on the screen, to try something just to see what happens. Super GeoBoard is a math manipulative. Students can manipulate polygons and make changes quickly and easily. Of course, the teacher can influence the use of the tool by structuring the examples used and sequencing the presentation into a coherent, predictable lesson. In the case of my classroom in the cloud, that is the purpose of the remaining slides. Unlike plastic geoboards that use rubber bands, Super GeoBoard offers a color-coded coordinate point system. When we design a learning tool, we try to think of all the things its use can teach. For example, the color coding allows teachers to point out that lines can have direction. The same line can be drawn going from the bottom up or it can be drawn starting at the top and go down. Dual GeoBoard makes it easy to give each child two boards so they can make comparisons and discover how this works. Planting these seeds early in the minds of students can help them to be better prepared when they learn about algebraic vectors lines that do have direction. Starting with slide 3, we set the expectation that students be able to create specific polygons. The slide also asks a question. The answer for the question will come from one of two sources. An application of the Pythagorean theorem, they actually have to solve the Pythagorean theorem, or simply knowing the answer based on prior knowledge. 
The teacher can use SuperGeoBoard to determine if students already recognize Pythagorean perfect triplets. If a student instantly answers the number five, then they probably have already been taught this concept. If, on the other hand, students do not know the answer, then the teachers can have students walk through the Pythagorean procedure to determine the length of the hypotenuse. This is why we include the calculator. First, we'll measure the two sides that are usually designated as A and B. The first line has a length of three. One, two, three. And the second line has a measure of four. One, two, three, four. And now, using the calculator, three squared is nine, and four squared is 16. And if we add a squared to b squared, that is nine plus 16, the sum, of course, is 25. Finally, students can be shown that the square root of 25 is five. Thus, we have links of the three lines, three, four, and five, a Pythagorean perfect triplet. The next slide asks the same question. What are the links of the three lines? However, this time the triangle is no longer a right triangle because no angle within the triangle is 90 degrees. Students should be allowed to manipulate the triangle and take the scaling triangle and change it into a right triangle and then back to its original form. This is the point at which the student must learn that the Pythagorean theorem relies on right triangles in order to work. Therefore, we show slides five and slide six to emphasize this very point. The rules that apply to a right triangle are not going to work with this scaling triangle because it has an angle that is greater than 90 degrees. Finally, the last two slides in this sample ask students to solve problems and submit their answers electronically. We encourage you to try these problem solving activities yourself so you can experience how an assignment given in a cloud classroom, such as mine, can be just as challenging, if not more so, than assignments given in the traditional classroom. If you want to try your hand at slides seven and eight, simply use your browser to visit my classroom in the internet cloud, blystoneclass.org. Thanks for watching this video presentation and I hope to see you in my cloud classroom real soon. Bye bye.